Hey everyone, this is Jeff from iDroid Phones. Sorry about the uh, hiatus we've been going on here. Tony's been sick and I've been working. Anyways, we're back and I got an app for you today called Android OS Monitor. But first, I want to show you I am working with Home Plus Plus now rather than Launcher Pro. Launcher Pro gave me render issues with landscape mode and whatnot. It took too long for me. This is really nice. I got a lot of widgets, but we'll give that, we'll get to that later. Android OS Monitor. You can see right off the bat, there's a thing up here that looks just like a task manager, say on Windows XP or something, and that's exactly what it is. It tells me it tells you your CPU usage. So you can pull down your drop bar, it says right there, Android OS monitor. Tap it. Now you have everything you need here. Let's go to the first tab here. Processes. Everything that's running in the background on Android. Everything. You can kill them if you want. Like Android OS monitor right here, I can kill the process. I'm not going to, so I'm using it. Go back, the settings, advanced Tasco is running, the Home Plus Plus is running, everything, including the uh, hidden uh, applications or hidden tasks, whatever you want to call them. So this is all right there. Then you got your network stuff. Right now, I'm not sure what, all, what it all means, but eh, I guess it's not for me. I know it's your IP address. I think it shows your MAC address in here if you look for it. All sorts of good stuff. Uh, it's the MAC and IP of, I believe, your uh, Wi Fi, 3G, and USB. And some other stuff, which obviously I don't know. Connections, local and remote IPs, MISC. And this is where I like to go all the time because I am on a rooted phone with a. ROM called Simply Stunning by Chevy Number One and his overclocking kernels. So here you can actually change your CPU scaling a little closer if we can. The first one you see is at 250. That's the that's the low range. That's where it'll sit out when it's not doing anything. That's as low as I can go. The second one is your max. You see, Let's see if we can get this focused. There you go. You can see I can go all the way up to 1200 megahertz, 1.2 gigahertz. So let's do that. There you go, changed. It tells you your battery life, your SD usage, your system usage, your data usage, your cache usage, everything all right there. Good, easy to read font. <laughs> and it's got a bunch of messages, which I've never gone through them all. I think it'd be impossible to go through them all. There's so many. Every little thing your phone does is basically in here. And well, that's it. Just want to show you that it's a real nice app to have, especially if you have an overclocking widget, or especially if you, have, if you can overclock. It's it's free, unlike uh, Set CPU, which is a great application that is not a free application. So if you want to check this out, if you have overclocking kernels, or even if not, you can still set your CPUs to lower clock speeds and whatnot if you're rooted. So look this one up, Android OS monitor. See you guys later.